I'd like to greet all the participants to the World Policy Conference, uh, who are celebrating this year its 10th uh, anniversary, and would like to congratulate its president, Pelini uh, Montreal, for having established within the international landscape this French-speaking forum, which uh, can enable us to debate without exclusive the main challenges of our time. I'd also like to extend friendly greetings to the Moroccan authorities, who are solid partners to this endeavor, since uh, this is the third time that the World Policy Conference is being held in Morocco under the high king's high patronage. Morocco's openness to the world, and particularly to Africa, is growing every year. What much in French efforts with a more intense integration link between Europe and the African continent. I would also easily make mine the objective of the World Policy Conference, to think about how to maintain a reasonable, open global governance that is able to absorb shocks while facilitating desirable changes because it is in this sense that I wanted to act during the first months of my term. I have, of course, devoted myself to emergencies bringing together the protagonists of the crisis in Libya, for example, or by hosting in Paris in August the 20th the African and European leaders most directly concerned by the migratory flows of the road to the central Mediterranean. I have these innumerable short-term challenges will only grow if we don't deal with the underlying problems, if we do not try to meet the long-term challenges. I will mention three. That of development, of which I set the goal of devoting 0.55% of our national income within five years, paying particular attention to the effectiveness of our aid more innovations, more intelligence, local partnerships, and greater responsibility on the ground. I would like the Alliance for the Sahel, which we launched with the European Union, the World Bank, and the UNDP, to be an example of this strengthened requirement. That of education and health, that of acute crisis we are going through, must not make us lose sight of. I call on the international community to meet in February 2018 in Dakar for the reconstruction of the global partnership for education that France will co-chair with Senegal. I also call on him to redouble his efforts for health at a time when in the Indian Ocean region we are talking about diseases that we thought forgotten, such as the plague. Third challenge, that of climate, for which France and Morocco have mobilized successively with the success of COP21 in Paris in 2015 and COP22 in Marrakesh last year. Let's not be mistaken, the fight is not won. And I will try to mobilize the international community next month in Paris around concrete solutions by mobilize, mobilizing public and private funding. For all these changes, we must pay attention to the tools that are ours, the rules and institutions that allow us to repel, fight hunger, disease, ignorance, and war. Multilateralism is a precious asset now under threat and I count on each and every one of you to defend this global public good. I know how much participants to the World Policy Conference, which come, who come from five continents, are attached to this. I know that they share these goals in addressing both pressing geopolitical challenges and longer-term issues in a cooperation and cooperative and effective way. That's why I want you I would like you to keep me informed of your deliberations and share your recommendations. I hope that the international dialogue on the organization of our planet will continue, and I know I can count on the World Policy Conference to produce better ideas, better policies, and advance the debate. Happy birthday to the World Policy Conference for its 10th years of birthday. It makes useful work, and I thank you for your attention.